some of the feet. So let's get into this tea. Child, our friend is back. All right. Yo, DJ Star. Got a story time. Um, what happens in Vegas always follows you home. <laughs> let's get it. I was going to sit here and take the blame for everything that happened in Vegas. But honestly, when I think about it, no, it's not all my fault. I mean, some parts, yeah, maybe I could have done this and I wish I would have did that. But ultimately, I feel like all of us played a part. And honestly, it wasn't good. So again, I would take a few moments here. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not eating after eight o'clock and I want to eat something so bad. I'm going to get some water. To, you know, take accountability, if you will. Uh, the accountability has been taken. That's all that I need. If you need more time, then that's between you and you. You understand? What happened in Vegas? Let's get into it, shall we? I'm chilling at the crib one day, and I get a call from one of my friends, Ashley. I'm like, yeah, what's up? And she asked me, she's like, hey, for my 30th birthday, I'm thinking about going to Vegas. I've never been before. I know if you've been. So if you're not too busy, I would like for you to come. Now, did my gut feeling tell me to say no? Yes. But did I say no? No. I love a good trip. I love a good trip. Ashley let me know it's going to be me, her, and two of our other mutual friends that I know as well. We can call them Brittany and Courtney. They kind of really don't matter. Just focus on me and Ashley for now. Cool. Ashley throw us all in the group chat. We get the dates and everything. We get the itinerary going and everything. It's her 30th B-Day. Vegas her first time, so I cannot wait to show her around. Take her to some of the restaurants. This is a that. It's go time. We at the airport and already at the airport. Let me just say this. If you can get drunk or tipsy at an airport and get on the plane, you a different type of demon. I, mm. I do it every time. Only did that one time. And that one time was my absolute last time. Can't remember what I was drinking, but all I do know is that made me never want to drink again. In that moment. Of course, I drink again afterwards. But I'm just saying, right then and there, you couldn't even pay me to drink another sip of alcohol. So, before we got on the flight, they was drinking. They get on the flight, they still drinking, you know, the flight attendants are study giving them whatever we get. We actually touch down in Vegas, and it's go time. As soon as we get in the Uber, even the Uber was offering them shots. They in the Uber twerking. You want to see some cash? I want to see some cash. Okay, oh, shit. them dollars coming, and it's going to make me dance. Mm, 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 and that's going to make me dance. Mm, that's one of my mm. favorite memories, like, of us actually getting to Vegas and then us getting to the Uber. And the Uber, he was super duper cool. He was offering shots. He was letting them dance and twerk all on his head and all this other stuff. It was just a, a great core memory for me. Boom, ski. We make it to the room. The room is lovely. We were right on the strip. As I felt like if you've never been to Vegas before, it's only right to get the room right on the strip. If you've been a couple of times, then yes, you, of course, you could venture out. But yes, the room is right there. We right in the middle of the mix. Now, I'm thinking they're going to be a little tired, maybe a little hungover, because mind you, they've been taking shots even before the plane left. But they like, nah, we finna shower and we finna get, we finna hit the strip. Like, we outside already. So I'm like, okay, cute. As soon as we walk out of our hotel, it's instant entertainment. If you've ever been to Vegas on the strip, you know people are this just- This is sounding so amazing. Showcasing all types of talents and doing all types of stuff. I just feel like it's one big circus, if you will. We're walking, talking, laughing, recording things, and two girls pass us. They kind of like pass us, kind of look as if we look familiar, but then they keep walking. So a lot. But then they circle back, like, oh my God, you guys are so lit. You guys are so turned. Like, we should kick it. Where are you guys about to go? Woo woo. And one of our other friends, Brittany, let's call her Brittany, she's like, oh, we don't know. We're trying to get something to eat. What do you guys suggest? They're like, yeah, we're in Vegas all the time. So we like, you know, all they get spots, and, you know, this and that. Yeah. I don't know why, but in that moment, I had a certain feeling about them. Now, here's why I don't like it. Because I hate when girls be like, oh, I don't know what it is about her. I just don't like her. I just feel like that's hater behavior. But I truly felt something was off about those two girls. Like, they was just too friendly. I feel like it's a difference between being like genuine, you know, whatever. But they was just overextending the friendliness and i really didn't like that but it's not my birthday it's my friend ashley birthday i'm not trying to do anything to blow the mood because i'm not the type of person cute the girls invite us to come with them to this like brunch vibe restaurant so you know my friends are like oh, okay cool they was in the mood for like brunch and stuff anyway as soon as we walk into the restaurant you can tell that they've been there a plethora of times because people are like calling them like oh my god waving at them like oh my god where you guys been da, 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 da. so they're like regulars and i'm just kind of sitting back you know scoping the scenery scenery out because i feel like my i got a gift of um what is it i got a gift of uh discernment I got a gift of knowing that okay. I know that I know. Type shit. Like, I'm not here to explain myself to none of y'all. Just got like, you. Got you. That I be knowing when I be knowing. Yep. Type 
so you know the girls are talking to my friends whatever like i'm kind of like in my phone like oh yeah where are you guys from like how long are you gonna be in vegas where are you guys staying i'm just like okay like those are the questions are just like is this the interview like be cool next thing you know a guy walks over to our table he's like oh it's somebody's birthday because you know, my friend has on like the little birthday tiara she has the birthday button going on whatever i even think she had like a shirt i wouldn't mind but i gotta like, get better with telling stories the way she tells her stories Hers is a little long-winded. I need to be able to extend mine and all that. That was like birthday, you know? So two of the girls like, oh my God, yeah, guys, this is our friend Victor. Victor loves us. Victor's a good guy. You guys should like, you know, let Victor sit with us, this, this, and that. Now, Victor is talking to my friend about her birthday. And he's asking like, oh, what are you guys doing tonight? You guys should pop out. We throw some of the hottest parties in Vegas, da, da, da. But I'm noticing as Victor is talking to my friend, Ashley, he won't take his eyes off me. And it's just kind of weird because I'm sitting at the end of the table. Him and Assy is right here, and it's like he's talking to her, but he's like looking at me. So I try not to be that person because I'm like, you know, I don't want to think everybody like me, or I don't want to think everybody's attracted to me. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, whatever like that. But it's like, Victor, what what's good with you? Is you cool? So I kind of like turn away, move. Hey, turn my body in a way that like he's kind of looking at my back. I know that's kind of disrespectful, but it's like, bro, what are you looking at? And you not even saying nothing to me. He's just like looking. But cool, the fool come out. I see that Victor has very slickly had pulled up a chair. So he's at our table now. So it's my three friends, the two girls that we just met on the strip, and then it's Victor. Again, Victor is eating his food, almost missing his mouth because he's like looking down there at me. And at this point, I'm just like, bro, my friends are starting to notice too because they're looking like Oh my like God, it was that bad? From me to Victor. And I'm just like, I don't know. So Victor phones rings. I guess he's a very busy man. So he's like, okay, he's telling the person on the phone, like, okay, I'm about to be on my way or whatever. Like, bad, I'm about to just pull up, whatever. So he's telling my friends, like, yeah, I hope I see you guys later. You guys are um, new to Vegas. I'm going to show you guys a good time, show you around, blah, blah, blah. Victor is leaving. He turns back around to come to where I'm sitting. He's like, oh, excuse me. I don't mean to be very rude. I just want to introduce myself to you. My name is Victor. If you need anything, if you want anything, please be sure to let me know. Your friend has my number. But if you want it, I will give it to you too. And I could tell the whole time. So I reach my hand out. Sir, I don't need it. I don't. To shake it, but he's still holding my hand, looking to the point where I just have to. Mm. Very awkward for me, but nonetheless, still not trying to really kill the vibe. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking like maybe he has been drinking. So, you know, I really try to get people to benefit of the doubt. That's one. So anyway, he leaves. And one of the girls that invites us to the strip, she's like, oh, wow. Yeah, Victor likes you. And when Victor likes you, the world is yours. Like, wow. Yeah, we could tell Victor really likes you. Like both of the girls was just seeing that. Mind you, all of my friends are gorgeous. They are top tens, really hurt for real. Like, so it's like, why Victor won me? The tomboy. Whatever, we just kind of made a joke about it. Like I said, I don't want to be a negative Nancy or whatever. We sitting there, and my friend Ashley sent me a screenshot, and she's like, hey, look what Victor just sent me. Victor texts like, look, whatever y'all do tonight is cool. You could just let me know. I'll pay for it. I'll sponsor it. I will do anything. Just get me around Star again. Oh, I hate them type of n****s. No. You don't have to pay for none of my sh Nothing. And what be the worst part is that feminine women always be like, Please, I'm about to get this free, da-da-da. Nothing is ever free. Like, wait, me? This stuff? Like, you want to be around me? for Be around me for what? Tools. Tools in the comments are part two. Would you rather go to Vegas and spend your own money or go to Vegas and spend someone else's money that not only becomes obsessed with you, but follows you on social media and tries to follow you all the way home? Oh, now, no. I know a majority of y'all probably going to pick the first answer, but so what? You think you're better than me? Victor in Vegas part two, shall we? So, Boomski, after Victor kind of weirdly introduced himself, me and my friends went on about our date. Now, the two girls tried to tag along, but like I said, I kept getting this very weird, strange vibe from them because they kept trying to, like, go to where we were staying. They're like, yeah, let's go. Just go back to you guys' hotels. Let's change it to our bathing suits, our hotel. What about y'all's? Now, I don't know if some of y'all know, but a lot of people in Vegas are actually homeless. Like, they present themselves as, like pretty girls bad bees whatever but whole time they're just trying to get close to you to steal from you or like have somewhere to stay we can go down that rabbit hole later but that's just the kind of vibes that i was getting from them so i told my friends like look you know it was nice of them to you know find us a nice brunch spot but we need to dish them because i'm not trying to have no type of mishaps so boom we tell the girls like look we'll link up with she gotta stop going out with these girls that always want willing to meet other girls 
with y'all later but for right now we just want to spend time with us like we came out here as a group and you know whatever fortunately the girls kind of like took it well they're like okay yeah be sure to hit us up whatever like let us know like where you guys staying at we could come through we could bring bottles and all this other stuff yeah go ahead just get out of our face so boom we go <laughs> ahead and go about our business we have our itinerary ready to go like i said it's my friend's ashley first time in vegas so it's the specific things that she want to do as a first timer like go to the casinos play on a slot machine things are like that the whole i don't know why her mouth isn't matching with whole time we're together ashley is like bro victor is like study texting oh, me this is stressing me out why is this happening would you rather go to vegas and spend your own money kind of have no type of mishaps so boom we tell the girls like look we'll link up Ashley first time in Vegas so it's the specific things yeah, that she want to do, do as a first right timer now. like go to the casinos play on a slot machine things are like that the whole time we're together Ashley is like bro Victor is like study texting me he keeps wanting to know the moves he keeps like hey let me know if I need to pay for anything and what I thought was kind of weird but funny too he's like yeah like is Lil Bow Wow still with y'all calling me Bow Wow now in my opinion I give Chris Brown right now in the comments do I give more of like <laughs> Bow Wow to y'all or like Chris Brown and like be Chris Brown for sure so for real because I felt like I give Chris Brown I like Bow Wow like he's cool like when I was younger I used to Harlem Shake and things like that but I just felt like as I got older I really give like Christopher Maurice Brown hold on let me get a face going for y'all <laughs> <laughs> now y'all every activity that we're doing Victor is sending money not just for me but for the whole team now when a trick trick that really trick trick you understand me Victor want no stingy trick he here to let us know like look I said I'm gonna take care of y'all so that's what I'm doing we going out to eat purposely running. You let them know tricks are for cats. At the tab and Victor like, yeah, he's sending the tab plus like $100, $200 tips. Then I'm like, all right, y'all. Now I'm hopefully Victor not want nothing in return, but okay. Okay. It's good that we met Victor, but like, let's just kind of keep an eye on him because like sometimes all money ain't good money. I know if y'all heard that before and if you haven't, then believe me when I say. Victor is texting my friend Ashley was like, hey, can I have Bow Wow's number? Just kind of want to ask her some stuff. Like, what you got to ask me, Victor? And no, you may not have my number. My friend Ashley's like, oh, come on. He's been so nice. He's been so sweet. Like, he's not even asking to be around us. He's sending us money to do everything, whatever, whatever. She's like, come on, do it for my birthday. Not going to lie. That one got me. Didn't give him my number, but I was like, tell him to call your phone. And then like, you know, I'll talk to him. Let me see what's up. He's like, yeah, man, I'm not trying to be weird or anything like that. He like, I just really mess with you. I love your style. Nothing like that. He's like, by the way, I have the a wife. is doing it again. What is going on? Life, I'm married. Now that I think about it, he did have this um wedding band on his ring finger. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's been a couple of times in my life where I ran into people that literally don't want anything from me. They just want to be around me or maybe talk to me. Um, This lady used to pay me just to FaceTime her and just eat. I was reading to this lady. She liked the sound of my voice. I was getting paid to do like certain affirmations. They literally didn't want anything in return. We'll get into those story times later. I already know what y'all about to say. But let, let's just keep our focus on Victor right now. So he's like, yeah, I'm not trying to be like that weird guy. He was like, I know this is Vegas and I know how people present themselves. You know, he just kind of talked to me. He's like, I could actually bring my wife when we come out later. Whatever. I'm sure she'd like to meet you. I really like your look. I have a homie that he does a clothing brand. I'm sure you could like model some of the clothing. He's like, I'm just very intrigued by your style. I really like your demeanor. You know, Victor just da 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 da. So, you know, me being cool, I could take a compliment. I'm like, wow, I really appreciate that, Victor. You know what I'm saying? You know, good looking out for me and my friends. You have literally sponsored dinner our whole trip. We really appreciate that. Cute. He's like, yeah, I'm hosting this event at the club later. It's like an all black affair. I would love if you and your friends came through, you know, free section, free box, whatever y'all want. Just let me know. I'll send the black truck to come pick y'all up. You guys can have your own security guard, whatever, whatever. I, anything you need while you in Vegas, please just come to me. Still, even though I kind of had like a little gut feeling, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm just tripping. You know, maybe Victor is just trying to be a nice guy for whatever reason. Don't really understand why he's married and, you know, spending money on other women, but cute. Gave the phone back to my friend Ashley and just saying that he's about to spend some time with his family. He's like, but at the same time, anytime y'all want to spend some money, let me know. I'll pay for whatever. But until then, you you guys really won't be hearing from me or seeing me until later on tonight when y'all pop out. It's Thursday because I want to spend some money. Back at the room, finally, after a day of events sponsored by Victor, we're getting ready for the All Black Affair. You know, everybody's in their zone. We looking real good. It's my friend Ashley's birthday. I'm trying to have a good time. Victor calls again, just confirming like, hey, you guys still coming through so I can send you guys transportation transportation to the club, wipe the band, cook. He's like, man, I don't know, but I'm so nervous to see Bow Wow tonight. Remember I told y'all he named, he nicknamed me Bow Wow for whatever reason. 
And my friend Ashley, like, nervous to see her. Like, like, what do you mean? He's like, man, I don't know. She makes me feel a way, like, being around her. She has, like, this energy, and it just, like, really opens me up. It really, like, pulls me in. I just ne really never met anyone like her before. At this point, I'm not even studying nothing Victor's saying. You know, I'm still trying to be nice, but at the same time, it's just like, okay, whatever. Now, the black truck arrives. The chauffeur gets out, opens up the black truck, and there Victor is sitting there. And it's like, I don't remember him saying that he was going to be in the black truck as well, but okay, I guess. I purposely made sure two of my friends got in between me and Victor. So like one of my friends went, the other one of my friends went, then I went and I sat there. And now we're on our way to the club. Now me, I purposely was not drinking because it's like, okay, I feel like I need to be on all my P's and Q's. The whole night, was like whatever you want, whatever type of drink you who want. Knew this, <clears throat> who knew this was really going to be about Victor? Like, let me know, you know, I bet let you know. But at the same time, I can't say that he was being weird, y'all. Like, I really was giving this man the benefit of the doubt. He wasn't, like, trying to touch me. He wasn't, like, trying to be all in my face. He was actually all in his phone. A couple of times he was FaceTime. I disagree. He was trying to touch her because he was grabbing her hand all tight. He was weird from the jump. I'm his kids. You know, I'm just kind of trying to pick up on stuff. We got to his club event. He had the red carpet there. He had photographers there. My friends and I are getting out. Of course, we let Ashley go first because it's her birthday. She's the star of the show. We about to walk in, and I, I feel like someone kind of tap on my shoulder. I turn around. It's like, hey, can you walk in with me? Threes in the comments. Threes in the comments for boy Drisky. Threes in the comments. That's crazy. You know, as a married man who was raving about how much he loves his family and things like that, I couldn't quite figure out why Victor was so fixated on me. Just thinking about from the time he saw me, um, my friends and I didn't have to pay for a thing in Vegas. He was always telling me, let me know if you need anything, please, please, please. Wanting to be around me, always asking what I'm doing, things like that. And now you asking to walk in a club with me? Victor, what's that about? And my thing is, I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it. Like, But the fact that you asked to walk in the club with me, like, what are you on? He's like, no, I'm not asking like if I can hold your hand or anything like that. I just want to, you know, walk in with you. I just want to make sure I'm respecting your space, this, this, and that. And that's the thing with Victor. It's like he was always doing something, but not enough to make me be like, oh, that's weird. I don't know. I feel like he kept it very professional, if you will. I don't know, y'all know, know. I don't know the words. He just always kept like a thin line. Like he didn't cross no boundaries. So boom, my friend Ashley and my other two friends, they walk in, they holding hands, and then me and Victor walk in. People are taking pictures. It's a very nice aesthetic. It's an all black affair. People are dressed up. You can tell us a whole lot of money in the smile. I understand me. So Hello. boom, are we at the door. Victor tells me like, look, I'm about to just go ahead and disappear. If you need, please go ahead and take the fast. call. Ain't no stop, but these Appreciate the resub, man. It's good to be back. Blue me, whatever glad to have you back you need i'm your guy i want to make myself the first point of contact and i'm like but you know it's not my birthday it's my friend ashley birthday so why are you being extra nice he's like listen i just want to make sure i'm there for you just let me know i just want to make sure you have a good time like okay but i'm noticing as victor's talking to me i see this lady kind of look at me and victor and as i look up at her she kind of turns her hair really quick and i'm like hmm weird but nonetheless, the server comes to set me and my friends down at the table. They have like her birthday table, everything, and it's like real nice. So we sit down, we're trying to order from the menu, and I see the lady again. This time I catch her looking at me. It's like, I feel somebody looking at me, but I don't know where it's coming from. I look up, and lo and behold, that lady is still looking at me from across the room. Okay, though, maybe, you know, she could tell that we not from here. Sometimes I tend to stick out like a sore thumb. All right, whatever. So I order my food with the waitress. Cool. I'm seeing a lady come close to our table because she knows someone at the table beside us, I'm guessing. She's talking to the lady, catching up. Then she turns to our table. She tells my friend Ashley, oh, my gosh, happy birthday. You guys look so beautiful. Glad to have you. This, this, and that, whatever. She then leans over to me and says, hey, stop staring at me like that before we both be in trouble. Now, I don't know what type of trouble she's going to be in, but as far as me, baby, <laughs> I ain't no trouble. You understand me? No, I can't get into no trouble. By the way, like, I really wasn't talking to nobody like that. I was talking to somebody, but it wasn't, like, official enough for me to be like, oh, I'm going to Vegas. I'm not going to cheat on you. It wasn't a relationship. It was just kind of like, you know, vibing type. But anyway, the server comes back. Everybody's getting seated and stuff. I'm guessing, like, it's a type where you're about to, like, make a speech or something like that. The servers bring out my friend's food, and the lady that has not stopped staring at me brings out my food, and she sits it down, and I'm just like, uh thanks because again she has yet to introduce herself i don't know who she is i don't know like what her deal is she's just looking at me and like doing things for me she asked me like what type of champagne i want what type of dessert and i'm letting her know i'm reminding her like it's my friend ashley birthday though like it's not my birthday so i feel like all of the extra catering should go to the birthday girl she's like no my services are strictly for you and that was from him what in the hell? what do you mean by that so i'm instantly like my friend's like Oh, no, Victor probably put her up to it. Like, that's probably Victor making sure that you're taken care of. Victor really likes you. Da, 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 this but is ridiculous. You don't, he don't like you. This is a different type of obsession. I don't. 
like, this is just so weird. The whole time I'm not seeing Victor nowhere in the building. So anyway, the lady is going on to compliment me. She's like, I love the way you dress. I love the way you smell. I feel this type of energy coming from you. And y'all remember in the beginning when Victor was saying that he feels like I have this type of energy that opens him up. Pause no diddy so i was asking her like dang i'll keep hearing that like what do you mean by that she's like well come upstairs and talk to me so i can elaborate so i see her walk upstairs and kind of look back to see if i'm coming i'm telling my friends they're like i mean just go up there you know we got your bag keep your phone on turn your location on whatever like that just go see what she wants type y'all go upstairs me and the lady up there talking i mean she's beautiful she's very beautiful i am attracted to her i'm not gonna say that but it's kind of like i didn't know what type of time you want before i you seeing dig any deeper we up there drinking, laughing, having a good time. She's asking me, like, oh, have I ever considered moving to Vegas? And I'm like, nah, but, you know, maybe I would. It, it just depends. What's in Vegas for me? Yo, we was literally on that rooftop for at least two to three hours to the point where, like, at this point, the party's over. We don't hear the music. Everybody's starting to leave and everything. She's like, well, let me get you back downstairs to your friends. I know they're probably worried about you, whatever, whatever. We walk back downstairs. Ashley is toe up from the flow up, and as she should, happy birthday. My okay. friends is like, yeah, come on, let's go back to the B&B. Ashley is ready to, like, pass out, whatever the case may be. So we all walk into the black truck. Me, my friends, and the nice young lady that I met. We can call her, let's call her Vanessa. I don't really know why, but she look like a Vanessa to me, so that's what I'm going to go with. So look, y'all, we walking out to the black truck. My friends are getting in. Victor hops out to help Ashley and whatever like that. So I turn around, I'm asking her like, hey, you know, let me get your contact. Like, you know, I'm trying to see you again. I, you had a good conversation upstairs, whatever, at the bam. So we exchange contacts. Kip. I'm about to hop in and I hear Victor talking to somebody like, are you going to ride with us? You're just going to meet me at home. I turn around, he talking to Vanessa. I'm like, wait a minute, what he mean? Are you going to meet him at, at like, how could, he, how could she meet you at home? You don't even know her. Like, what, what you want? Dude, my friends put me in the truck. They're like, come on, we need to go to the... Vanessa is the wife. ...B&B before Ashley start throwing up, whatever like that. Victor get in the truck, and I'm just like, hey, you know her? He kind of laughs like, yeah. I'm like, where you know her from? Like, how, how are you guys acquainted? He's like, that's my wife. I know what So they swingers. What, 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 like, like, what type of wife you mean, like... Like, what you mean, like, wife? Like, that show, like, because it's, like, it mean, wife can mean, like, different things, probably. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it could probably mean, like, friend. It could probably mean, like, coworker. Like, what you mean, wife? He's like, that's my wife. Like, we've been married for almost 10 years. <sighs> Falls in the comments. Falls in the comments for... So the lady that I've been falling for for the past three, four hours is married to the man who I thought was trying to get me, but now I'm kind of confused about what's going on with the whole entire thing. Hearing Victor tell me that Vanessa was his wife, it was like a hit to the stomach. Like, I couldn't breathe. It's like it knocked the wind out of me because I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Y'all know how it is, man, with this women loving women stuff. All it takes is just a few moments of conversation and we're talking, but like, and at the same time in our mind, we're like, okay, I want you. You got to cut everybody off. We're going to be together forever. It happens just like that. I already pictured the future with Vanessa. I pictured us going, taking trips together, having a nice little family, everything. I was really feeling Vanessa. For a moment, I thought I was being pranked, but you could tell that Victor was kind of waiting on me to say something. I had no word. The ride back to the B&B was very quiet. My friends were drunk and they're all sleeping. And I'm just up, just kind of like thinking like, wow, never in a million years. Even Victor asked me like, do you have any questions for me? I'm like, no, I don't. I mean, what kind of why, questions? For why. what? I don't know why she was all on me. Don't know why you guys didn't even interact the whole time at the party. Don't know why when she's looking at us, you act like you didn't even know who she was. No one introduced himself. I'm not sure what's going on, but no, I have, I know, I don't have any questions. So when we pull to the B&B, my friends and stuff is getting out. The driver is helping. So I get out. Victor's like, wait, can I speak with you for a moment? Speak with me for what? Oh my God. I'm already blown that you married to my Bro, this sh would get on my nerves. Wife, like you got her before I did. So honestly, it's really nothing to talk about. What do you want, Victor? He's like, look, I know this is crazy, but I just want you to think about it. Think about what though, Victor? He's like, bottom line, my wife wants you. And as someone that's always giving my wife something what she wants, I feel like, you know, I have to go ahead and connect the dots. This sounds like my same story time of that damn man walking in. <laughs> Her husband, boyfriend, whoever he was walking in there while she was giving me that topic. <laughs> I'm like, look, I, if y'all into that whole swinging thing, no offense to the people that are because you know what I'm saying? It's your life. You do what you want. I support it. But at the same time, that's just not me. It's not what I'm here for. And, and I would never do it. Victor's like, yeah, I'm not into the swinging thing either, though. So you, oh, okay. Oh, so mm. he's like, I strictly do things just to make my wife happy. If my wife goes out and sees someone she's attracted to or she wants to talk to and conversation with everything like that. But that's bullshit because the wife didn't see you first, see her first. Girl, appreciate the, uh, appreciate the resub, friend. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> he's so dry. Bring them back to her. I make it happen. That 
He's like, yeah, you're a pretty cool girl. You have a nice sense of style, but I don't want anything to do with you. I'm just wanting to make my wife happy. Hmm. You know what, Victor? I judged you. Y'all in the comments, y'all judged him too, chat. We all thought that Victor was just this stud loving. I definitely judged him. Tomboy loving, all of this, all of that. But Victor, you're really out here just doing whatever your wife wants you to do. Is Victor a victim? Should it be Victor the victim? <laughs> I'm like, Victor, that's really sweet of you. But honestly, it's still weird. She's a married woman. I'm not sure what she wants with me. And I do appreciate your effort of, you know, going out and doing things that your wife wants you to do. But count me. I go to turn around. Victor goes in his pocket. I'm thinking like, ah, a gun! But it wasn't gun. It was money. He's like, look, take. Pulls out. Boom, 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 boom. 1,000 here. Boom, 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 boom. 1,000 there. Boom, 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 boom. One thousand there, boom, 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 boom. Four thousand dollars, lays it in my hand. He's like, you spent four hours with my wife, and we would just want to compensate you for your time. So here's four thousand dollars. Whether you still want in or not, it's fine. I do appreciate your time. You've made her happy, and it makes me happy to see her happy. Four thousand dollars just to talk to your wife on a rooftop? I don't know if I would have kept that bread. Hmm? I was so confused at this point because it's like. I know all money, not good money, but for whatever reason, y'all, Victor seems so genuine. He also seemed like he, they do this way too, <laughs> way too often Shut at up, the same Chrissy. time. I'm just like, that's it? So now, just out of curiosity, because I'm I'm truly, honestly just curious, I'm like, what does your wife want? Like, does she just want to sit down and talk? Does she want to do other things? Does she just want to spend time? What is her motive with me? Because if I'm getting paid $1,000 an hour just to yap, I love a good yap session. <laughs> I'm a yapper. He's like, look, how about you guys kind of communicate? I saw that you guys, you know, um, swap contacts. You guys got each other numbers. You guys can talk about what she wants and things like that. And, you know, I will always be here. You don't have anything to be afraid of. We're not those type of people. I know what, you got, what you're thinking. I know what your friends are probably going to think. But honestly, I'm not that kind of man. I have children. I literally just go out and do things to make my wife happy. Chat, what we think in the comments? That is a slave to the wife. That's what I think. Or, or like she say, is it Victor the victim? Is Victor the victim? <laughs> I, I'm in confusion. Oh, like, do y'all think it's a genuine offer from Victor? Or do y'all think it's a hidden agenda? Do y'all think it's more? What do we think? Y'all know I got to get y'all opinions on everything. So, like, what's good? Victor got in a black truck, told me goodnight, told me if there's anything you need. Once again, he's like, I will get that for you. I will be here for you. Call me, text me, don't care what time <laughs> it is. I want to make sure you're good out. I walked in the house and I did not know what to think. Didn't know who to talk to. My friends are spread out, knocked out. They're so drunk and it's just me up. My phone vibrates and it's the wife. Vanessa's like, hey, I thoroughly enjoy talking to you. I love your conversation. I love your vibe, your energy. I really hope that amount of money is enough to compensate you. And if not, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to send more. I just want to spend more time with you. Hey, run me a little more. Uh-oh. She at, wait, 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 wait. I sent 1,000 of her subscribers from her YouTube channel to my TikTok from doing reaction videos to my story. I appreciate it. We just hit 20, 224K. Yo! So I'm just randomly looking on her Instagram, and look at this! I did not get this! Has sent thousands of her subscribers from her YouTube channel to my TikTok from doing reaction videos to my story times. I appreciate it. We just hit 20... 224k. That's what's up. <laughs> Who knew? You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. Cause sometimes people get offended that I be reacting to their shit, and I'm like, ah, I don't think it's a bad thing. <laughs> but that's beautiful. That means I got to go to react to it. Hey, keep them story time coming, baby, because they're good. I'm going to just say that to her right now. Look at me. Um, I'm just seeing this. I'm going to say, man, I love the story times. Keep them coming. Glad you approve with some uh, praying hands or something. Uh, 
praying hands. Why are we making this so hard right now? <laughs> Yo, these hands are kind of crazy. You know what? I'm not even going to do praying hands. Uh, <laughs> why praying hands not on here? Sick of it. Clapping hands. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Okay. Now we can finish. Oh, King. That's. Oh, sh I done lost it. There you go. I ain't never been in a situation like that, so I ain't gonna lie. Like, so you don't want nothing from you. You want me to sit in your face and yap at $1,000 an hour. <laughs> and I told her, like, look, um, you know. <sighs> I'm not so sure this is something that I want. I mean, just the, with the whole money thing, with the whole I feel like you and your husband plotted on me. I'm just not the type of person. We out here in Vegas. You know, Vegas has a, is his, um, not historic, is, what is that word when it's like they're known for, Vegas is notorious. Ha! I finally got it. Because y'all in the comments, y'all think y'all so smart. I think y'all got y'all degrees. Y'all think y'all better than me. Vegas is notorious for stuff like that. Thank you. She's like, yes, I definitely understand. I'm so sorry. Maybe you're right. We do need to change up the approach. We just could not help it. You know, I, I could not take my eyes off you. You're still beautiful. And I do apologize. I definitely respect your decision. So I'm like, okay, cool. Put the phone down. Now I'm about to shower. Get ready for bed. I get out the shower and I see that I have a text message from Vanessa again. Open a text message and it's another $4,000 sent by Apple. Oh, no. Victor just gave me four thousand dollars <coughs> cash. Vanessa just sent four thousand dollars Apple Pay. Was that's like, eight thousand dollars? I would have felt like I broke the law, but I ain't gonna let you. I ain't gonna cap you down. I would have had to get on the flight. I would have been so uncomfortable. I had to leave. However, I still would have kept that coin. <laughs> I'm not giving this shit back. <laughs> you want to see some? Shut up, Chrissy. <laughs> Yo, I would have had to catch me an overnight flight ski. I'm out of here. Good night. If you change your mind or if you would like to talk more, please just feel free. My line will always be open. Fives in the comments for We have nothing to ski. talk about. Fives in I got paid $8,000 to talk to someone's wife. Nothing else. Literally just conversation. No. <laughs> no touching, no extra activities, just to yap. And I know what y'all are thinking because I was thinking it too. At what point are you going to want more from me? Because there's no way. Oh, wait a second. Okay. There's no <laughs> way that you're just paying me this just to listen to me yap. So, boom, we was at the Airbnb. My friends are drunk, sleep. I'm like, I cannot wait until they wake up in the morning so I can spill the tea because at this point, you're not going to believe this unless I literally showed you. So my friends woke up and I'm telling them, gather around. It's time for a tea party. Y'all not going to believe what happened to me last night. They were still a little hungover, but they like, what? What's going on? I'm like, remember the lady it that came to our table? Boom. Remember, I went upstairs to the rooftop to talk to her. Boom. Y'all was too drunk to remember, but we was getting to the black truck and Victor actually knew her. Ah. Turns out she's actually Victor's wife. <sighs> My friends are like, no way, what? So like, what are they trying to like, you know, are they swingers? Do they want to do this? Do they want to do that? I'm like, get this. Victor doesn't want to have no parts into it. He's doing this because of his wife. His wife is obviously very fond of me. She likes listening to me talk. She loves, she thinks I have great conversation. So Victor gave me four racks as soon as I got out the um truck. And then his wife sent me four racks insinuating that we should talk more. So me and my friends, we were just going at it. We are just like talking like, oh, I can't believe that. Da, da, da. Like, what's their real motives? So they're like, but uh, at the end of the day, $8,000 just to talk, get your back. Okay. So not going to lie, it was kind of, to me, it was just kind of, what's the one I'm looking for? I was kind of intrigued because I literally didn't have to do anything. I got to keep all my clothes on, things of that sort. No offense to the ones that take their clothes off. Get the back by any means, book. But I'm just saying, if I was to pay someone $8,000, it wouldn't be just listen to you talk. The, the I could turn on a podcast to somebody talk. I'm not paying you eight thousand dollars to run that mouth. I'm not absolutely not paying you eight thousand, let alone eight hundred bit, let alone eighty dollars. You hear me? <laughs> eight thousand dollars. You gonna have to run something else. But anyway, this is our last day in Vegas, y'all. So my friends, like, you know, I'm glad that you got your bag, whatever, like that. But just be careful with those type of situations because, like, literally, I, I told her they didn't want nothing else from me. Victor seemed like a nice, very patient guy. He's willing to do anything for his wife. I support it. As we're talking, the wife sends me a text. So I'm like, oh, y'all gather around. What'd she say? What'd she say? You know, like, we are hyping stuff because we're literally just talking about her. And then she just decides to text. 
So she's like, good morning, beautiful. Still can't stop thinking about that conversation. And let me pause you right there. Y'all, to me, like, I was just kind of yapping about random stuff. I'm the type of person where I'll talk about anything if you're willing to listen. So it's not like it was just this top-tier conversation. I don't know where she's got that from. I don't know what's making her say that. But I really wasn't talking about just anything super fantastic, to be completely honest with you. She's like, you mentioned that you guys were leaving later on tonight. She was like, I would love to see you just one more time. Name your price. Like, lady, you, what's going on with you? She's like, I would love to meet with you somewhere. So I was telling, I'm reading the text message. I lost my friends. Like, nah, you tell her to come here. Like, right. don't go meet her nowhere on the strip or right. don't go to their house, whatever like that. Nothing. She want to see you. Tell her to come here and bring that bag. So I tell her, like, you know what? I'm down. And for I mean in the lobby. Oh, okay. Seeing you again, especially if you're going, you know, pay, you know, a certain amount. That's fine. But you have to come And I need 8000 again. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> mm. Like, if I, I need eight thousand again, hmm. Cause y'all getting on my nerve. I mean, you done paid my rent eight times. I, no. To me, I feel more comfortable if you came to me with my Airbnb, with my friends, things like that. I don't feel comfortable going anywhere with you or Victor. No offense. She's like, okay, what's the ad? No, all offense. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. So then my friend's like, okay, hold on. This sounds too good to be true. Let me hit Victor. So my friend Ashley gets Victor on the phone. She's like, so what's T for real? Like, what y'all got going on with my friend? Because we're not going to end up on some lifetime show. We're not going to end up on a um, news, whatever like that. So like, let us know what's going on. Victor's like, okay, this the truth. Y'all remember the two girls that spotted us originally on the strip, right? And I need y'all to stay, stay with me, okay? I'm trying to, I'm going to try to go slow so that we can all be on the same page, ready? The two girls that we met on the strip, right? Yes. Those are two of her old girls. So apparently she saw them, was attracted to them, whatever. They became close, whatever. So now the wife, Vanessa, is sending those two girls out to find someone of her type. I'm guessing I met, I checked all the boxes. I met all the qualifications. So when they seen me... They came, like, talking to my friends, but the whole, the whole time they were taking pictures of me, sending it to Vanessa. And Vanessa was like, you know what? That's her right there. That's my type. Get her. Bring her to me. But nothing can be validated except for Victor. So remember when they took us to the restaurant, and that's when Victor came up. And like I said, y'all, Victor could not stop looking at me. His eyes would, would never leave me. It's just like kind of like he was kind of, like, sizing me up low-key. I had already told y'all that I had kind of like a little feeling about it because like the girls, I don't know, I just felt like the girls wasn't really genuine. I felt like they wanted us to kick it with them for a reason. And lo and behold, they was scouting. They was getting me ready to talk to Vanessa. So boom, Victor was giving us all the tea, telling us like, okay, look, my wife every now and then, you know, she has an eye for certain women. And so like, I try to be a great husband and I try to let my wife does what she do, what she want. And I try to give her what she wants. And if that's another person, then that's cool. So we ask like, but th like, all she wants to do is like, just talk though. Like, we just cannot believe that y'all paying this amount of money for her to talk. Like Victor, you don't got nothing to talk about. Okay. Victor's like, yeah, we just been married for so long. And so at this point, we just kind of like doing things to spice up our relationships spice up our marriage keep everything fresh and like you know what i get it so Victor's like yeah vanessa told me that she's supposed to be coming over to you guys crib later i hope you guys have fun but be aware when she drinks she kind of turns into a whole different person so i just want to keep you guys alert hold on uh, uh -uh. what type of she turned into she don't even need to come now uh -uh. he's like oh she just becomes very demanding and things like that but i mean it should be nothing that the, that you guys have to worry about if it does get out of hand you guys have my number but i'm just gonna drop her off over there you guys call me whenever you're ready for her to go now, unfortunately, I do have to turn this into a part six ski because when Vanessa came over the house, the tables did turn. So six in the comments for part six ski. I'm not sure why it's so hard for me to listen to my gut. Like, sometimes I can literally feel the accident before it happens, but it's like, I still want to see the crash. <laughs> do you wish you could spend more time with me? Do you wish it was just me and you one-on-one? -on -one? Do you wish that you could feel a deeper connection <clears throat> with me? Well, now you can. Listen up. Y'all, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, click the link in my bio. There's a button that actually says talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Just me and you. You and I. Ask any questions. I can send you personal videos. We can chit-chat. I can give you motivation. You want some behind the scenes on the story times. Click the link in my bio. Talk to me one-on-one. -on -one, and we can go from there. Vanessa's husband told me in clear form that it's a possibility that when Vanessa comes over, she's going to be out of her mind, out of her body. And, you know, she's hard to handle. But a little part of me was kind of like, hmm, let me see. Mind y'all, my friends and I told Vanessa, like, look, we can kick it, but you have to come to me. We're not comfortable meeting you anywhere or coming to wherever you're at. So just come to the B&B. 
Vanessa's like, oh, that's fine. I don't care. I'll do whatever just to see you. I need to talk to you again. You guys supposed to be leaving. I just want to be in your space. She then calls back and was like, but wait, can I bring someone just in case, like, you know, I get too drunk to drive? We got to give it to Vanessa because, no, we don't like you people that drink and drive. If you're able to acknowledge the fact that you're going to... You better get an Uber. Kind of be too I hate when people want to invite other people. Because who you inviting? I already don't know you. Who the hell are you inviting? Up later, you're going to need to call a cab or Uber, call a friend. Cute. We like people like you. We like sure Vanessa. You can bring a friend. That's fine. It's still gonna be what four of us, but one, two of y'all. So if things was to get out of hand, we got it. That's like all of my friends are kind of busy, whatever. And I said, oh, I have an idea. Why don't you bring Victor? I feel like Victor is an honest, trustworthy man. Bring Victor. Why don't you? She's like, uh, are you sure? Oh, I'm positive. Bring him. So y'all, we cleaning up the B and B. We getting ready for them. You know, my friends, they we got like games and stuff out just so we won't make it awkward. Like I told them, y'all. Oh, I invited them to the B and B. I'm thinking y'all at all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Lord, have mercy. Let's do anything we possibly can not to make it completely awkward because I know y'all gonna be watching this lady every move. We got drinks set up and everything. We have TV put on. We're probably gonna do like a little karaoke. We're just gonna try to have some fun before we leave. I'm thinking about my neighbor. Oh, she gonna walk that dog once an hour, every hour. She do not play. But anyway, okay, so cool. Vanessa texts like, hey, you know, we're on the way. Are you guys ready? Like, yeah, you know, everybody nerds everywhere. We just kind of talking about like, oh, what if this happened? If that? We have a plan. We like, okay, look, we got the keywords. We are, we ready for anything to go down at this point. Okay, they get their first red flag. Vanessa comes right through the door. Don't speak to nobody but me. She just comes right to my face like, oh my God, here you are again. You're so beautiful, whatever. Mind y'all, I'm in a crib with three other friends, Ashley, Brittany, Courtney. She does not see nobody but me. And you know, fun fact, I actually do like it when you make me feel like I'm the only person in the room, but don't be rude about it though. Like speak to my friends for real. But okay, we're not gonna make a big deal about it. Victor is already starting off wrong with the friends. Here, Victor looks like he's on edge. That was kind of like the second red flag. Me just kind of looked like Victor. He right? done came in on edge. He was kind the whole time. Okay, is something wrong? You blink twice if you need help. Like what's going on? He would just say he was really tired. He's been dealing with the kids all day and everything like that. So he just kind of wanted to just chill let us do our own thing cute so y'all here we go drinks are starting to get poor we taking shots we playing like little games we having fun we're doing karaoke we're doing like little talent shows we're just trying to get everybody kind of feeling comfortable because this is a very awkward situation we have a husband here who's sitting here not having said a mumbling word unless we say something to him we have a wife who's very talkative but like only to me it's like she don't see anybody but me and we have my friends just trying to like be messy but all at the same time they're just trying to figure out what the vibes is because we really can't tell but that's the one on to let me know in front of everybody she's like look for each hour that i'm here i'll give you a thousand dollars just for your time like dang okay so we did have a flight to catch but i don't know all of a sudden i don't want to go home uh -uh, she's like but i do like... want some alone time with you you know away from victor away from your friends and i'm just like mm. she's uh, like, we can't do no long we can't do no long i'll give you a hundred dollars if you just go upstairs and talk to me gone no what i, I... <laughs> I flew up this. I didn't even walk. I flew up the stairs. Like, okay, like, what's going on? What you no, want to talk about? No, y'all would have needed 5000 to go upstairs. Wow, like, you're chatty patty, me too. Y'all, we get upstairs, and one of my friends um, we went to one of her rooms. We just sitting there. Vanessa's just literally staring. I'm like, what do you want to talk about? What do you have to say to me? She's just looking. I'm just like, mm. my friends like text me like, hey, is everything okay? Like, what room y'all in? Like, we turn, I, you can hear them turn the TV down. Like, my friends, they be so on point. They trying to hear for the, like, the little keyword. But we just chilling. She's just literally looking at me. She's like, I don't have anything. So I just want you to talk. I want you to talk to me. Tell me about your day. Tell me about your favorite color. Tell me about your future goals, dreams. I just want to listen to you talk. So I talked about a whole bunch of nothing. I was just sitting there talking. She wasn't touching me. She was very, like, had her legs crossed, kind of leaning back, just observing me. It was kind of weird, but very lucrative, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so then she interrupts me, and she says, how much? And I go, for what? She's like, how much to get you to stay another day? Like, I really want you to stay another day. This is not enough time for me. I don't know when I'm going to see you again. Is it okay if I come visit you? Like, but I said, wait, 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 wait. This is just all coming too fast. You, you just want to look at me? We can FaceTime. I can send you pictures. Like, what, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, what's the catch? She like, there is nothing. I'm just very intrigued by you. I'm infatuated. I told Victor already, and, like, he supports it. So, yeah. Mind you, at this point, she's been at the house for two hours. That's already $2,000, literally, for just sitting there yapping. 
She's like, well, I just want to plan a trip, just me and you. I'm like, wait, hold on. What about Victor? I actually like Victor. And like, I don't like what's wrong with him. Is he OK tonight? She's like, well, yeah, sometimes he gets in his feelings when he knows like I'm really fond of someone, even though he supports it. It's just kind of hard for him to accept, you know, the whole girl on girl thing. I'm like, well, I think Victor is a nice guy. And y'all, all of a sudden, I start feeling so bad. Like, y'all, the man looked like he lost his puppy. He downstairs looking sad. And I'm upstairs just yapping to his wife. And it just didn't feel right. At this point, three hours passed by. And it's actually time for us to get ready for our fight. Like, it's time for us to leave. And even my friends were saying, like, okay, this is good. You've made, like, a bag just sitting there talking. But they did not trust Vanessa whatsoever. Mm. Mind y'all, Vanessa has been drinking, 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 drinking the whole time. Victor is coming upstairs to give Vanessa. All of a sudden, Vanessa's like, no, get off of me. I don't want to go. I'm staying here with her. If she leaves, I leave. If she stays, I stay. I don't want to go anywhere with you. What I'm is the infatuation, though? And with her. My friends are like, Vanessa, we invited you over. We let you sit and talk to our friend. We have a flight to catch. We're going back home. We, You can't stay here. You can't come with us. Victor is just pleading with Vanessa, like literally begging, like, please, Vanessa, please. We have to leave. Come on, please. Let's go. You've had your time. I let So you she addicted like that. This, I let you do that. Now it's just time to go. Come on, please. The whole time, Victor and Vanessa's kind of sitting there arguing low key. Me and my friends, we're packing our bags. Like, we got to be out. We don't want to miss our flight. We got to go back. As much as I would like to stay... I don't know, just something doesn't feel right, and I just want to listen to my gut at this very moment. Vanessa was even saying things like, I'll leave you for her. I just want to be with her. It's true love. That's my soulmate. Like, oh, can't nah. be me. Baby, I'm young, wild, and turn. I ain't, I ain't your soulmate. What are you talking about? Uh, okay. You a man that loves you enough to let you do what you want to do, give you a hard pass, and you going to leave me? Okay. Oh, baby, I'm so strict. It don't make no more sense. I don't even want you looking at nobody else. What are you talking about? You better stay. Your best bet is to stay with old Victor, because he going to, yeah. Okay, so we done, we packed, we saying our goodbyes. I'm telling Victor, like, nice meeting him. You know, good luck with the whole situation. We get into our Uber and we start to pull off. Y'all, Victor and Vanessa is following us. None, like, the Uber driver's like, are they coming with? Or, because, I mean, they could have dropped y'all off. Why'd y'all call an Uber if somebody was going to, like, you know, trail us the whole time? Every turn we make, they make. Everywhere we go, they go. At this Not point, stalking me. We at the airport. Vanessa gets out again. How much? How much what, Man, hell no. Nah. She's like, I want you to stay. I need you to stay. How much? Or can I come with you? Like, I, I cannot let you leave. You can, and you will. You have no okay, choice. Okay, at first it was all fun and games, but it's like, now you're starting to get a little pushy, and I don't like pushy people. So I'm telling her, like, look, it was fun while it lasted, but I don't feel comfortable with you now. I would like for you to kind of step back because at this point, you're, like, grabbing on me, asking me how much. You're studying, pulling out your purse, pulling out your black cards, your Amex, your this, your dad. And very nice, by the way. But um, <laughs> it ends here. Like, okay, like, I'm good. Victor's like, see, I told you guys when she doesn't get what she wants, she starts misbehaving. But look, Victor, she, you're her husband. She can do that with you. With us, she gonna have to chill before we, you understand know, me. Literally, airport security come over asking us, like, what's going on? We like, look, we just trying to get inside the airport so we can make it to our flight. This lady here, we don't know what she's got going on. She's kind of intoxicated. But we don't, like, she's not with us. So he starts trying to talk to Victor, like, basically telling them, like, okay, if they don't have, like, uh, flight tickets or whatever, then they need to leave or they was going to, you know, get escorted out. Vanessa's like, I'm never going to give up. I'm, I'm going to find you and we're going to be together again. Mark my word. I don't care what I have to do. And, you know, people like that, you're probably like, ah, whatever. You're just drunk. You're just talking whatever like that. Nah, she's still on business. Vanessa definitely found me in another state. Oh, hey no oh hell no i mean granted <clears throat> almost like you know ten thousand dollars to deal with something like that F it. but in another state that i actually lived in too mm -hmm. update on vanessa mm -hmm. i don't know because it, i would kind of be exposing myself just a little bit too and i don't think i'm ready for that <laughs> Bottom line, what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas, and now we know how they go. Yo, the giveaway is under effect. We've been hit 200K, but my followers is study surpassing. I think we're at 224 or something now. It's time to do the giveaway. A couple of rules of the giveaway. Of course, you obviously must be following me on TikTok. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube. My YouTube is Yo DJ Star. It's the same as everything else. It's my Instagram. Oh. Subscribe to my YouTube because I'm about to start transferring my tiktok to my youtube so the story times y'all say y'all want the full whole thing y'all don't like it when i drop it in parts so you're gonna have to subscribe to the youtube speaking of my youtube should my first video be a q a y'all trying to get to know me or should i just jump right into the story times y'all already know I, I only do what y'all say y'all my twinkles we team twinkles over here y'all make me shine so should i just do a q a get to know me first or do y'all want a story time i have a big surprise coming soon just subscribe to the youtube i'm not sure <clears throat> yeah bro i never know how to do a giveaway so i just don't do it I don't know how to do it. Like, everybody got to, like... Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think um, down in the comment section below. As y'all can see, she approves me reacting. So get off my meat. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.